And welcome back to this Game 7 as we get ready to get back into the action. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, Clark and Steve, what, what have they been doing or not doing? And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together, really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement. And it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. On the court for Atlanta, Beasley out there with Mike Scott. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Kent Bazemore. And it's Payne at the center. Here's Bazemore. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. Chicago making some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Miritich. And it's Rose in for Aaron Brooks. Al Horford, he's checked in for the Hawks. Damari Carroll comes in for Michael Beasley. Here's Schroeder. Horford high post. No one near him. Rebounded by McDermott. An easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. And he gets the bucket. Heinrich's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark, and getting the ball inside into that lane area has been huge for them. Here's Bazemore. He kicks to Kira. Beyond the arc. That's good. You can't leave him alone, especially from long range. The Bulls leading by four. Three-pointer, Heinrich. It's good. This time, the assist from Rose. Rose has got three assists tonight. Incredible. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing a three-point battle like this. Here's Schroeder. There's a good screen. And Bazemore kicks to Schroeder. Five to shoot. Puts it up from 12. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. It's going to be on Kirk Heinrich. The Atlanta shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw. We welcome you back to the Eastern Conference Finals here on 2K Sports. It's been quite a game for Kirk Heinrich. Well, maybe he just needed the big stage because so far tonight he's been outstanding in an important game. Yeah, you never know how the role players are going to respond to big game pressure. I mean, he's showing us what direction he goes in, and that's straight up. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler back inside. Gibson and Noah, and it's McDermott in at the three. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. And that one's good. And what jumps out at you guys, the assist total. I mean, they have been dominant in that category. It's the ball movement, the player movement, and great rhythm to their offense. Clearly seems to me a different mindset between these teams. Teague to the basement. Just five on the clock. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Outside Carroll. Here's Millsap, and he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Millsap's got eight. It's a great play under the boards for him, and, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him, game in, game out. Noah with a screen for Rose. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Free throw drops for Rose. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. T kicks to Millsap. Passes it to Kira. T with the ball, dishes it to Millsap. The Hawks have shot 80% from the line tonight, going four or five so far. And that one falls for Millsap. That one is no good. Chicago leading by 17. McDermott dishes to Gibson. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Noah, the pass to Rose. Butler from outside. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his seventh assist in the game. Atlanta calls timeout. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Fourth, Derrick Rose. Seems like he's taken it upon his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved here in the postseason. What a passing display it's been. 
now T. The dish to Millsap. Here's Carroll. Horford kicks to Carroll. Outside Teague. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Baysmore dishes to Teague. Shot clock at six. Millsap passes to Teague. The offensive rebound. Horford. Millsap kicks to Horford. So the whistle blows on the shot with two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, the referees all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. The Bulls making a switch here. Heinrich from a kind of an unlikely source here. Yeah, it's the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard. Ser <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. On the court right now for the Hawks. They've got Beasley. Karawanczyk out there with Payne. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Jenkins in at the two guard. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And Chicago has possession. Snell, that's good. Snell's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Bulls. The Hawks shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. Here's Schroeder. He dishes it to Beasley. Lots of room. He squares up and sinks it. That's a nice play there. The more contributors this team can get, the better. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. The drive by Brooks. Again, Chicago. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. Schroeder passes to Jenkins. It's Beasley on the wing. And Jenkins kicks to Schroeder. Hits it from three-point range. Yes. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Inside, it's tipped and stolen by Payne. Fast break, the Hawks. And here we go. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk, Clark, coming within seconds of the steal. I love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. Miritich dishes to Snell. The shot is off, and it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Beasley, the pass to Schroeder. Payne gets a wide open look. Off target from three point range. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. And Jenkins kicks to Schroeder. The feed now to Jenkins. Puts up a three. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Payne's got four points in the quarter. Boy, a nice tip in to salvage the points from the missed shot. And, and made it work. It did, yeah. And those second chance points, Clark, they do add up. Yes, sir. They sure do. That's why boxing out is so important. Defensively, you can't just let a guy get to the rim and uh, not put a body on him. Defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. Beasley with a screen on Brooks. Schroeder dishes to Beasley. And that one's good. You know, the defense didn't exactly try to fight around that screen, and that's why it turned into the easy basket. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. That's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. Seems to me as though he's lost his way a little bit in the second half. He'd been turnover free before the break. That's certainly not the case anymore. Mike Scott's checked in for pain. And John Jenkins, the bucket on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got five assists tonight. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. 
ball movement here by Atlanta. Beasley inside, tries from 10, rebound by the Bulls. Well, an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Well, that puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. Schroeder passes to Beasley. A baseline J, and it's Beasley again missing. The Bulls have gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Well, not much more you can see now. It's the end of the line for one team and a hard-fought, well-deserved trip to the NBA Finals for the Bulls. But, Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out, uh, Clark, this, this kind of punishment. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. Well, you look back at this one and what an amazing performance this has been for Jimmy Butler. He was extremely efficient offensively, getting looks, knocking down big shots all game long. Here's Schroeder. Beasley right side. Nails the wide open jump shot. It hasn't happened as quickly as he would have liked, but he's finally putting some points on the board in this game. Passes it to Snell. A three ball. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. And as hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Here's Schroeder. Can't get it to fall. Snell kicks to Brooks. Dunleavy for three. Another three for Chicago. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, that's how you close out a game, Steve. Yeah, no way you can come back from this deficit. Just not enough time left on the clock. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Beasley with a clean look. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Beasley's gone 6 of 10 shooting tonight from the field. And here is Brooks. And the Chicago Bulls will so I'm coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome so i make a happy corona night five you'll have a great day and peace out